Hi everyone, welcome to the final episode of From Broken to Floatin' by Marine Part Source. We've been working on this pontoon boat for many weeks now, getting it ready for the water, and now we're going to see if it actually floats. So let's check it out. Hey folks, I'm with Miguel. He's one of our experts at Marine Parts Source, and he did all the work on our pontoon boat to get it from broken to floating. Miguel, I just wanted to run through some of the interesting challenges or surprises that you ran into during this project. But first, let's tell everyone the state of that boat when you first found it. Yeah, well, when we first found it, it was actually out in the field and definitely in a state of disrepair. Hadn't been touched in quite a long time and uh, needed a lot of stuff. Sure, so uh, we knew it was gonna be a big project. When you get into a project like that, really what can make or break it and that you need to evaluate first is the, the condition of the engine, right? That's right, that's right. So the first thing we did was check the compression and the fire on the engine. So we knew that we at least could get that engine running uh, with with fuel, with new fuel. Absolutely, and, and by a stroke of luck, it was in good condition enough to run. Yep. So uh, we moved on to evaluating the rest of the boat. What was the biggest challenge or like, uh, 
piece that you evaluated that you're like, this is going to be a big problem? Yeah, so we knew that the seats were in bad shape. So we, uh, we ended up taking those off, and then we found that the deck had several soft spots in it. So we ended up having to redeck the entire boat to make it seaworthy, to make sure that we're going to be safe out there on the water. Obviously, that's a bigger part of the project and pretty expensive to replace yeah. all that stuff. But you've got to have a solid deck that's if you right. want to take it out on the water. Yeah. So once the decking was done, um, I know a big concern for you was you had a brand new con console and installing gauges on that console, right? Yeah, yep. so I ended up having to mock up with some spare uh, old plastic that we had laying around to make sure that I wasn't going to have to make multiple cuts on that console or wasn't going to ruin that uh, new console. So um, I ended up doing that just to make sure that uh, everything was, was going to be right where it needed to be and spaced well. Absolutely. So practice makes perfect. Obviously measuring two, three times to make sure you've got it right. Yep. And using the right tools also makes a big difference, That's right. right? Yeah, we ended up having to buy a couple of hole saws that were the specific sizes for those gauges. Uh, they don't come in a typical hole saw size or set, so uh, so I had to get those and, and make that work so that the gauges weren't moving around Absolutely. In, the, in that panel. And you also you're using like oscillating saws and, and what else were you a using? Jigs I used a jigsaw, used a drill, used several several cutting pieces just to make sure I, I made those cuts uh, really precise. So after installing the gauges, I know another big part of this project for you that was a challenge was the uh, electrical wiring. And you even consulted our guys over at the Inverter Service Center. Uh, to make sure that you were doing everything correctly, right? That's right, yeah. So I've got ABYC uh, system certification, but not electrical certification. So I got with those guys to make sure that I was doing everything right and had all the right tools and connectors. And they, they really helped me on that. They just uh, gave me all the tips and tricks that I needed, things that I don't do every day that they do. So it, uh, it really worked out well having them there. And that's probably the number one piece of advice we can give to anyone who's tackling a project like this on their boat. If you're unsure or not confident about what you're doing, consult a boat mechanic, consult an expert. You can even give us a call. We've got ABYC certified experts available who can talk you through uh, your project and answer any of the questions that you have. When we go, we got the boat out on the water. It was a big success. We even took it up to a pretty high speeds and it ran great. It's yeah. not like it had been sitting in a field yeah. for a lot of years. So uh, well done. I know you're glad that it's over with. And um, of course, if you're out there working on a project of your own and you have questions, just give us a call at the number below. You can always find us online at marinepartsource.com. Thanks for watching.